Hello, I'm Doug Davison from SmiteWorks, and I'm going to show you a little bit of um, some new features that we put into Fantasy Grounds today as I'm uh, testing around with the advanced BCR from Green Ronin. So this is a, an excellent uh, module, an excellent PDF or hardback book especially. If you have an opportunity to pick that up, I highly recommend it. But one of the nice things about it is that it not only has a lot of templates that you can use to apply to your characters and to your NPCs, uh, to change their stats and to add new abilities or special effects, but it also um, has like over a hundred different NPCs that are well thought out that you can use right away uh, in your campaign. So as I was working through that process, I um, thought it was about time that we finally put together a stat block parser directly inside of Fantasy Grounds. This will probably move around a little bit once we get farther along and, and uh, once it's a little bit uh, more ready for production but I wanted to kind of share this with you today so today I've got some NPCs that, that you got loaded in and then here under our templates I've got like an NPC factory and I've got this basically this stat block builder so what I can do is I can grab a stat I'm just gonna grab one from uh, that book that I mentioned earlier Let's see if I can bring this over here for you to see it I'm gonna try it out on the arboreal creatures it's a tree folk warrior, so I'm just going to come through and it looks like it's grabbing some extra stuff. Try to grab only the text if that's going to be possible here. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to do control C to copy that. Go into my uh, stat block section, enter it in, just kind of look it over, make sure it looks good. So I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you just hit build new NPC and then I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like if you do a little bit of cleanup first. So first I'm just going to click build new NPC and you'll see that it made a new tree folk warrior. If I open this up you'll see that it assigned a T um, from the letter tokens to the icon. It looks like it mostly translated it correctly. I'm assuming that this creature does not have an aura. Um, hit points, saves, all of that came through. Uh, sometimes the special qualities and the special attacks uh, and here you'll see that speed uh, that looks like that's actually okay. The attacks um, or short spirit looks like it actually grabbed a little bit of extra data. So I'm just going to go um, slide from here down. Oops. Go grab that. Get that out of here. So I'm just going to put my cursor in there and just delete that portion out. Same thing here. It looks like it did grab a little bit of extra information this time. Uh, here it's got the stats, it's got the base combat, uh, base attack bonus, the combat modifier, and the CMD. The feats came through okay. It looks like the looks like this all worked out okay. A little bit of touch up languages. Looks like it grabbed a bit of the gear and some other stuff. So I'll just touch that up. And now you'll see under the other section it just dumps exactly what you had um, entered into it and it left a spot for an image. So you could go through and you could just um, what I recommend doing in this case I've got a template that I want to put in. I'll just go ahead and knock that out. Uh, so we have a arboreal creature. I'll link that in just so that it's a handy reference for when you're actually playing the game and then I think I've got Arboreal Halfling Warrior image. I'm going to go through and you can right click and, and mark this up. I'm going to mark it up as a heading or what I like to do is just uh, use the hotkeys. Control 2 is, uh, is the key for making a heading and you can see all the hotkeys on our wiki right now as well. Alright so here I'm just going to do a little bit more touch up. So skills, I'm going to do Control J to combine those lines uh, base attack feats, that all looks okay. The melee attack, I'm going to go ahead and combine that with Control J. You could just manually delete the extra spaces this stuff as well if you would prefer that approach. Uh, everything else looks fine. So that's a pretty quick and easy way to get a, a new NPC into Fantasy Grounds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show one more. Let's just see if, if another one works out okay. I'm still working out a few little kinks here and there. Hopefully, get those all ironed out. but uh, it saves a lot of time even with a few kind of weird catches that it does. So I'm going to grab this person and dump him in or her. I couldn't tell if that was him or her at first glance. Alright, and, and as I mentioned earlier, so you could come through and 
you know you could kind of clean this up a little bit beforehand I would recommend only using the control J to do your real formatting uh, you just don't want to have extra extra formatting in there as far as um, the headers and and that sort of stuff but the control J feature I think would be pretty nice because that helps just kind of ensure uh, that things are laid out properly and that's you know one less thing you have to do later on okay so that all looks reasonably well done maybe maybe some portions down here alright so I'll combine the feats combine the skills and grab those looks good oh, okay I think what it is is it's saying other gear that's probably why it's picking up I think if it just looks for gear it should probably work we'll test out that theory alright control J and let's see almost done clean up a little bit more on the special abilities control J okay alright I think that looks a little bit cleaner and I'll just click uh, build new NPC and that was Biverin or Biverin uh, looks like it brought that in correctly I'll just kind of scroll through here real quick um, still grabbed a little bit of the speed in the offense header. Hopefully I'll get that resolved before I push it out live. Um, here you can maybe clean this up a bit. It strips out all of the um, all of the character turn line feeds right now which you know I might decide to make that a preference driven feature instead just because you may or you may not want to have those uh, character turns carried over from your original content alright that looks like it grabbed some garbage but the skills look good, powers look good and then now if I look at other you'll see it's already carried through all of the um, combinations that I've done previously so I'm gonna go ahead and just add let's see this is another template this is an archon graced something or another let's see where is he? I think I've got an image for him what is he? Male Hound Archon. There we go. Hound Archon Graced Half Elf is the image. And then here is the template. Archon Graced. And then you just do your Control 2, Control 2. to special abilities and there you go so that's it that's uh, just a quick preview of the uh, stat block parser that we hope to have implemented pretty soon so right now I've got it built into this NPC factory that applies templates um, you can apply a set of templates to different NPCs and then spits out the results here um, but what we'll probably do is stick it under uh, right next to the encounters under the NPC section maybe have like a stat block parser or a from stat block button which just opens up a window that only does that one feature and that'll be something that you know maybe we'll look to uh, just roll out to everybody with the Pathfinder rule set so thanks for watching and again I'm Doug Davison with Fantasy Grounds and uh, hope to see you online gaming